there's a new study out that uh, says that climate change may actually be worse than we previously believed. Now, uh, this new study, of course, was conducted by French researchers from the French National Center for Scientific Research, and it suggests that the model used to map ocean temperatures for, you know, that scientists have been using for decades is actually wrong. Now, that's very interesting. Uh, so what they did very, very simply um, is that they used this particular temperature model that assumed that temperatures were actually warmer over 100 million years ago than they are now. The research now that counters that suggests that the, that, that the oceans were actually much cooler than we had thought. If true, they say, that means that the global warming we are currently undergoing is unparalleled within the last 100 million years and far worse than had been previously calculated. Now, scientists believe that the ocean, uh, that the temperature of the ocean depths in the surface of the polar ocean 100 million, million years ago were about 15 degrees warmer than they are today, but in fact, uh, but they might have in fact have stayed relatively stable. So uh, in, the, in the cooler, so it actually would have been 15 degrees cooler from what I understand. Now, uh, Anders Myborn, head of EFP, or EPFL's Laboratory for Biological Geochemistry and a professor at the University of Lausanne, says, if we're right, our study challenges decades of paleoclimate research. Oceans cover over 70% of our planet. They play a key role in the Earth's climate, knowing the extent of which uh, their temperatures have varied over geological time is crucial if we were to gain a further understanding, I'm sorry, a fuller understanding of how they behave and to predict the consequences of current climate change more accurately. So the researchers believed that the scientists had been overlooking crucial processes when they calculated the temperature of the seas millions of years ago. In so doing, they have been mistakenly thinking that they were warmer than they actually are. So this is uh, a group of scientists saying, we think you messed up. We think the methodology that you used was severely, well, maybe not severely, but were flawed. And that you came out with predictions that actually uh, were off quite a bit. And that climate change is actually far, far worse. Now, of course, there will be climate deniers that don't read the headline or that don't read anything but the headline. And they jump in and say, oh, see, models were fake, fake news. They were wrong. Climate change, wrong, fake news, sad. Uh, but that's actually not what this report is actually saying. Now, well, I read through it. I suggest that you give it a read as well. Um, what they're saying is uh, something completely different. But on to the climate deniers for a bit, because I, I, there's been something that's been bothering me. When the people that go in uh, and, and say that kind of stuff don't actually understand science at all. See, there's a misconception about science that I think a lot of people, myself included, have been guilty of perp uh, perpetrating or uh, perpetuating. And, that, and that's the, the idea that science is 100% infallible. That's not actually true. The job of a scientist is actually to prove things wrong, not to prove them right 100%. Say you have a, hypo a hypothesis, right? And you want to prove it. Well, you do that by observation, which includes measurements, studies, documenting results, and throwing in variables to test them. The whole purpose is experimentation. Uh, and it's not to prove you right, it's to prove you wrong. And if you start running out of ways to prove yourself wrong, then maybe you've got something. Science is about questioning results. It's about asking questions, period. Things are not 100% proven by science, even when they are eventually accepted by the uh, general scientific community. It means they've just run out of ways to try and prove something wrong. So, I mean, consider gravity, right? We know gravity exists. It is a thing. And at this point, there's, there's, there's no question in the fact that it does exist, right? It's a scientific fact, even though they still call it a theory. Now, the questions about gravity among scientists are, what is, uh, what is it? Um, what, what creates gravity? Is it a wave or is it a particle or is it both? So those are good questions, right? So what does it, where does it come from? How does it actually like work? Okay. 
nobody's having a question of does that gravity actually exist we know it does it's proven it's it's because you can observe it and test it okay but we don't know everything about gravity and that's the thing about science is that we're always asking more questions and we're always looking into more so we can understand it better okay now climate change that's also where we're at with climate change by the way it exists climate change is it does exist it has been proven to exist even among deniers i mean look at one of their favorite lines but the climate has always been changing well then you admit that climate change is real because it is changing that underlying principle is true now they'll deny that it's man-made or that humans have been influencing it and that it's rapidly changing. Now, one of the debates is how rapidly it's changing. Now, a lot of scientists on this front, uh, on the right, have actually had uh, been very conservative. Not in the political sense, by the way, but in, of course, uh, basically they're being careful, they're being measured, and they're trying not to be too alarmist. Well, for me, red alert, <laughs> okay? We've got a major, major problem. It is rapidly changing. I mean, climate, yes, has always changed, but again, it's been very rapidly changing since the industrial age. We have not seen this before. We've seen the climate get to a warmer point than where we're at. Sure, absolutely. But those kind of changes took millions of years, millions upon millions of years to happen. What we've done is that we've taken a relatively mild, stable climate and we've jacked up the heat in a very, very short amount of time. Now, that leads to very weird things happening that were traditionally more rare, did happen, yes. Uh, but these events, superstorms and the like, they actually now happen uh, either more often uh, or, and they're also stronger. Now, the other far more dangerous part about the rate of climate change is the impact on animal and plant life. Now, again, climate changes over long, long periods of time, right? And when it does that, and it has, then animals and plants are given a chance to be able to adjust, to be able to adapt over time. If you do it rapidly, and when you're talking about geologic terms, a couple of centuries is actually super, super fast. Not to us, um, but geologic time, it's a blink of the eye. 200 years uh, when you do that incredibly sudden when you change that climate so fast and make it that much warmer that causes major major problems when it comes to adapting plants and animals they don't have time to adapt if they don't have time to adapt they die if all the animals and plants die then guess what <laughs> we die you can't exactly eat money and drink oil just saying it would cause massive die-offs in our food supply. Our, our food chain would collapse. It'd end up being like the Donner Party, even far, far worse. So, not good. Now, the people that deny this stuff, they don't understand how science works. They're dooming us all. That's a big, big problem. And unfortunately, a, a lot of those people end up getting paid by the fossil fuel uh, uh, industry. Those people who don't look at the long term and only look at, oh, hey, how much money am I making today? How many more millions of dollars can go in my bank account at the end of the week? Look, if the rate of warming is worse than originally predicted, and again, this is, this is a theory. They're trying to figure out uh, why this is happening. Uh, if the rate of warming is worse than originally predicted, which, again, was already pretty bad to begin with to be honest with you, then this study shows that we are in a world of trouble far, far sooner than we expected. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.